Imagine a marathon runner pushing his body to extreme limits daily, ignoring rest and recovery. Just as this athlete might face the dire consequences of overtraining, so too can our brain suffer from excessive stimulation. You see, the brain is a fascinating organ, incredibly complex yet delicately balanced. There's a party going on inside your head every second, with hormones like dopamine playing the tune. Dopamine, often dubbed as the pleasure hormone, is the life of the party. It's released when we experience pleasure, from eating a delicious meal to achieving a goal, and yes, during sexual activity like masturbation. This burst of dopamine is what makes these activities feel so rewarding. But what happens when that party turns into a non-stop rave, with dopamine playing the DJ all day every day? That's where our tale of the overzealous dopamine begins. Imagine having a marathon runner in your brain, sprinting on the dopamine track without any breaks. This constant stimulation can lead to changes in your brain that you might not be so thrilled about. The prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for higher cognitive functions, such as decision-making and impulse control, becomes the casualty in this scenario. It's like the quiet neighbor who suffers when the party goes on too long and too loud. This part of your brain can actually shrink due to the constant dopamine release from daily masturbation. Just like an overworked muscle, your brain begins to show signs of strain. It becomes desensitized to pleasure, much like our marathon runner might stop feeling the pain in his overworked legs. This desensitization can lead to a diminished sex drive and disrupted emotional well-being, among other things. And so, the cycle continues, with the need for more frequent masturbation to achieve the same level of pleasure, leading to more dopamine release, further shrinking the prefrontal cortex and impairing decision-making and impulse control. It's a vicious cycle, and breaking free from it isn't easy, but it is possible. Just like our marathon runner, too much of a good thing can tip the balance and lead to unforeseen consequences. So the question is, are you ready to take back control? Are you ready to turn off the non-stop dopamine party and give your brain the rest it so desperately needs? Stay with us as we delve deeper into this complex issue. Imagine riding a roller coaster daily, the thrill initially exciting but eventually becoming less thrilling and more of a routine. This is a fitting metaphor for what happens to our hormones when masturbation becomes a daily activity. Let's dive into the hormonal world. Testosterone, oxytocin and prolactin are three hormones significantly impacted by frequent masturbation. Testosterone is often associated with libido or sex drive. When masturbation becomes a daily habit, testosterone levels can decrease, leading to a diminished sex drive. Yes, the very act of seeking pleasure can, paradoxically, dampen our desire for it. Next, we have oxytocin, famously known as the love hormone. It's associated with feelings of bonding and pleasure. However, when released frequently due to daily masturbation, it can lead to desensitization. That means the things that once gave you pleasure may not feel as satisfying. It's like the roller coaster ride that once gave you a thrill is now just another mundane part of your day. Lastly, let's talk about prolactin. This hormone is released after orgasm and is associated with feelings of satisfaction. However, overproduction of prolactin due to frequent masturbation can contribute to mental health problems. It's like the satisfaction from the roller coaster ride turning into a source of anxiety and depression. Disrupted emotional well well-being is a significant consequence of these hormonal changes. The roller coaster ride is no longer a source of joy and excitement, but a cause of emotional turmoil. It's like being stuck on a roller coaster that only goes down, impacting your overall mental health. So we see our daily roller coaster ride can gradually lose its thrill, leading to a quest for more intense experiences. The hormonal roller coaster that our bodies embark on through daily masturbation can lead to a diminished sex drive, desensitization to pleasure, disrupted emotional well being, and even mental health problems. It's a ride that seems exhilarating at first but can quickly turn into a relentless, unwelcome routine. Picture yourself in a labyrinth with dense fog clouding your vision and memory. Imagine, if you will, that your brain is this labyrinth a complex network of pathways and connections, all vital to your daily functioning. Now, let's add a layer of fog to this labyrinth. 
This fog represents the negative effects of decreased testosterone levels due to daily masturbation. Testosterone, you see, is a crucial hormone, not just for physical attributes, but also for mental and cognitive functions. When there's a dip in this hormone because of excessive indulgence, certain cognitive abilities can take a hit. This foggy labyrinth is a metaphor for what's known as brain fog. Brain fog is not a medical condition in itself, but a symptom of an underlying problem. It can manifest as memory issues, lack of mental clarity, poor concentration, and even difficulty in making decisions. Imagine trying to navigate through a labyrinth with all these constraints. Challenging, isn't it? Now let's add another layer to this foggy labyrinth. Depression. The link between decreased testosterone and depression is a topic that's been extensively researched. Studies have shown that low testosterone levels can lead to mood swings, fatigue, and a general sense of sadness. This hormonal imbalance not only affects your mood, but can disrupt your overall mental health. Your labyrinth, once clear and navigable, is now foggy and confusing. Your cognitive abilities, once sharp and focused, are now clouded and uncertain. The foggy labyrinth is a powerful symbol of the struggle with cognitive issues due to hormonal imbalances. It's a stark reminder of the repercussions of daily masturbation on your brain's health. In our foggy labyrinth, finding the way out becomes increasingly difficult, symbolizing the struggle with cognitive issues due to hormonal imbalances. But remember, every labyrinth has an exit and every problem has a solution. And we'll explore these solutions in our next scene. Stay tuned. Imagine a tree damaged by a storm, but gradually healing and growing back stronger. Just as this tree recovers, so too can you if you find yourself caught in the storm of excessive masturbation. The journey may be long and filled with challenges, but remember, every journey starts with a single step. Let's talk about that first step. It's about replacing the habit with positive activities. You see, our brains love patterns, and once a pattern is established, it becomes a default setting. But fear not, for this also means you can establish new, healthier patterns. Engage in activities that ignite your passion. It could be painting, running, cooking, or learning a new language. The goal is to keep your mind engaged and distracted from the urge to masturbate excessively. Next, never underestimate the power of support. It's okay to seek help. Reach out to trusted friends, loved ones or professionals. You don't have to face this journey alone. There's strength in unity. And often, just having someone to talk to can make a world of difference. Now let's talk about mindfulness and meditation. These are powerful tools that can help you gain control over your impulses. Mindfulness teaches you to live in the present moment, to acknowledge your feelings and urges without judgment. Meditation, on the other hand, empowers you to calm your mind, reducing stress and anxiety that could potentially trigger the urge to masturbate. Finally, be patient with yourself. Change doesn't happen overnight. There will be days when you stumble, when you fall back into old habits. But remember, it's not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. So, as you embark on this road to recovery, remember you're not alone. The journey may be challenging, but the destination is worth it. Just like our resilient tree, damaged by the storm, it slowly heals, it slowly grows back stronger. And so can you. Like our resilient tree, it's never too late to heal and grow stronger. Imagine standing at the edge of a cliff, ready to take a leap of faith into the unknown. It can be daunting, but remember, every journey towards better health and wellness begins with that first brave step. We've explored the intricate maze of our brain, the hormonal roller coaster, and the foggy labyrinth that can stem from excessive daily masturbation. We've also shed light on the path to recovery, and now it's your turn to embark on this journey. You see, the power to change lies within you. It's about choosing to replace harmful habits with positive activities, seeking support when needed, practicing mindfulness, and most importantly, being patient with yourself. It's about prioritizing your mental and physical health above fleeting pleasures. And trust me, it's worth the effort. Imagine waking up with a clear mind, free from the fog of confusion and memory loss. Imagine experiencing pleasure in its purest form, undiluted by desensitization. Imagine being in control of your decisions and impulses, not the other way around. This can be your reality, and it all starts with a single step. 
If you found this journey enlightening and helpful, do give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on more insightful content. Also, consider sharing this video with others. You never know who might find it beneficial. Now, let's make this a two-way interaction. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Do you think society needs to have more open conversations about the impact of excessive masturbation on mental health? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. So, are you ready to leap into a healthier, more balanced lifestyle? Share your thoughts in the comments below and remember, every journey starts with a single step. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care of yourself and those around you.